I'm Libby Hill with the Los Angeles Times, and with me is the cast of Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, and I definitely said it correctly. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Thanks for having I'm so us. glad you're here. So we are doing a huge departure for season two, is what I am told. So does someone want to tell me a little bit about what fans can expect? Well, last season no. was kind of <laughs> like... Um, no, we're giving nothing away. No, no last season was like... Um, time travel with body swapping right and this season is much more high fantasy with magic so there is another world that we go to just one or do we called Wendemore what? yeah there's another world yeah yeah a uh, fantasy land a fantasy called land, Wendemore which has will. magic in it um it's yeah. kind of set around around the town of Bergsburg which is a fictional town in Montana um, and then As someone from the Midwest, yeah. I can assure you that that probably does exist. Well, I thought it probably Bergsburg does. Bergsburg. Town to Bergsburg. Right there. So there's Bergsburg, and then there's the land of Wendemore, and then there's the government agency Blackwing, which is trying to get hold of people like Dirk. And, and we delve Bob. into that a lot more this season, which is great. Yes. Because we kind of, in, we sort of, Blackwing is a, you know, it's a background sort of force we're aware of in the first season, and we really get into it this season, which is a lot of fun. Right. I, I, I love it. That's amazing. So is it, was it intimidating to come into this project knowing that it was, it was from the mind of Douglas Adams and knowing how passionate people are about his work? Was that something that weighed on you when you entered this project, or was it just like, this is just another show? It felt like in some ways that that burden is Max's to bear a little <laughs> bit more, more than ours. Because our Forget characters it, outside of, of the, the titular Dirk, Dirk Gently, right. th these are all fictionalized characters that did not have a presence in Douglas Adams' work. So, so it's there's really not a Sam and Max. So Sam and Max. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I felt it. I felt it. I felt <laughs> I did feel a lot of pressure because when I when I got cast, there were a lot of um, Twitter comments like what was wrong with the other TV series they did? And, <laughs> and, well, and really? hold on, you're not Stephen Mangan. It was only four years ago, so that, that had I to be very I understand, hard. and also it was really good, that show, so, mm. so I get it. But um, this was always going to be from the mind of Max Landis, and he's taken the essence of the books and the character and, and run with it in a brilliant way. And I honestly, I really do think like Douglas would be like, this is the modern version of this. I think it's in keeping. I love it. That's fantastic. So talk. So I've been watching. Wow, there's really no way to say that without um, seeming really creepy. So I've been watching you guys since you came to our studio. <laughs> oh, great, <laughs> thanks. Uh, you Dirty. seem to get along very well. So like, do you guys do hang you like out? Our prom set? It was. Oh my God! Do this is know? prom year prom two. Pose. So this is like senior oh, prom. Yeah. We're yeah. senior prom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm so impressed. Like, did you have a theme? Was there a theme for this year's prom? Comic Con. <laughs> glitter. Oh, it was glitter hair. It was glitter. Glitter, glitter hair. hair. Yeah. All of the glitter. Yeah. Do you want to, Hannah, do you want to tell us what happened with the glitter? Well, I was trying to copy Elijah's boomerang, but he threw it uh, <laughs> out smarter in the way he threw the glitter. Yeah, but yeah. that's because I was asked to not do that. So I threw it up in the air oh. and it rained rained down on my person. It looked amazing, though. It looked incredible. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. still look incredible. We'll link to that. Thank you so we'll much. You. That. That'll be on our website. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I really, so excited. I literally only I asked forgot. you so I could plug the website. <laughs> but it's good that you had a story to I go forgot with. about gravity, you know? It happens. I mean, it it's not real. It's if you don't believe in it, like, it won't gently. believe I'm just hoping this glitter... I can't see it because I don't know what's going on. It looks on. good. It looks I'm hoping so it looks good. intentional. It looks placed purposefully. Great. It does. With, like, a tweezer. It does. <laughs> Individual. It looks well, like I the other thing is, mm -hmm. he wore a hat. So it's <gasps> cheating. What's that? You wore a hat. I yeah. did, yeah. That's... I did put a bunch of the glitter in my hat because I was going to tip it and do that. Oh. But then we would be tweeting. And, would he, <gasps> and he was like, <gasps> maybe you should not, like, just it, use, you know, if you want, like, glitter all day, you can do that. Wait, but you're going to have glitter all day. You, maybe you don't want to do that. Yeah. So, so, yeah, I was dissuaded from doing that. So bad. That's sexist. Sexist. That's sexist. Let's call it. That's sexist. Right? Right? That, yeah. Let's yeah. just be honest. That's true. Yeah. Misogyny. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. also, that would have been a straight up drag race move. <laughs> like RuPaul's Drag Race. What do they say? Glitter like, is oh, I've never seen that show. Of oh, crafts. I shouldn't honey. say that. I, I should have done that. That would have been great. And then yeah. glitter all down. You would have like, right now it's like <laughs> Kyle MacLachlan is like front and center with the, because it's Dale Cooper and he's with the, with the boomerang. But I think if you'd pulled the hat trick, you would have. Uh, Was Kyle MacLachlan in here? 
He was. Whoa. I didn't see That's it. That's so no, exciting. It is an intense. I needed to see it. Oh, yeah. Is it anywhere? Can I like you guys. It? it is on the on the Twitter on internet. The, right. Um, I still haven't seen Times. any of the new season of Twin Peaks. I'm very excited. Well, let me tell you all about the episode that airs tomorrow. The old season. Yeah. No, that's probably. I'm sure your your publicists are very excited about this interview right now. <laughs> like, well, we've talked about Drag Race and Twin Peaks, but <laughs> no. Um, so you have added new cast members for for this season. Mm-hmm. Can you so tell amazing. me about the additions? We love them Huge so much. Alan Tudyk fan. So yeah, what same. has that been like? Yeah. Alan's Alan's amazing. I've got some stuff with I don't know. Yeah, I do have some stuff with Alan, but Tyler Levine's also um <gasps> oh my god uh, with us this season. As and a sheriff. Tyler is amazing. We love him. We love Alan. Alan's also amazing. He's kind of like. He's so nice. This is scary, a totally different. But he's really sweet. Him. Yeah, I don't oh, think I've great. seen him do anything. And Izzy like as well. This. Oh Izzy yeah, is Izzy Steele. Yeah, awesome. I so love we've got the amazing John Hannah as well. Yep. Joining Absolutely. Us, so. That's so great. Yeah. You guys, is this a show that could work? I mean, I know you t- you're telling me that so Bergsburg in Montana, which is is sure to have a very authentically Montanan feel. Um, is this a show that works inside America? Or is this is this uniquely British? Oh no, it's global. It's global. It's yeah, global. And I, and I can tell it's global because of the response we've had from people watching it around the world, from Brazil and China. I and love it. Like, awesome. it, mm. there, are, there are many fans for this show. And it, I think partly what people like about it is that it, ha- it does sometimes feel peculiarly and particularly British because of Dirk. But it's done in a really slick, brilliant, quirky, American cable way. Like, it's got the budget, which right. is fantastic, and it has a really British feel to it. Well, it's like specificity is the way to relatability. I love it. Absolutely. You guys, thank you so much for joining us at the LA Times studio. Thank I hope you, you have an amazing us. Comic-Con and a, and a really special senior prom. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you guys so much. <laughs>